Hey Photoshop fans, I'm Justin Z, and here's another important video about the tools and techniques of masking. This video will show you the basics of using the lasso tools for creating masks. These masks, as stated before, serve as creative tools for making changes to your images. Basically, the tools work the same way as you would if you were making a selection. As before, the top layer is in color and the bottom layer is in black and white. This is just for reference. Click and drag over the area until finished, then go down to the new layer mask at the bottom of the top layer panel. The lasso selection will isolate the top colored layer and hide the rest to reveal the bottom layer. Now let's say you want to add to the mask. With the lasso tool selected, draw another selection. When you do that, you want to right click, select fill, then fill the selection in with white. Because masks work with selections based on the colors of black and white, white will fill in the mask and add to it. If you want to take part of this mask away, click black. One thing to note is that each addition you make will add to the same mask. To make a new mask, you need to have a separate layer. The principle remains the same with the polygono and lasso tools. If you need a reminder on how those tools work, take a look at the tools overview on the annotations at the end of this video. Not much more to it, but it can come in handy for making custom masks. In the next video, I will go over masking with the pen tools. These tools are the masters of mask selection. Thanks for watching. Please send any requests or questions about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.